Hello, this is Woodland Friends. Welcome back to Weasel Games. This is Weasel, and we're back in another episode of Awesome Knots. Now, a lot of you that watched uh, NASA's video where we did a second Olay attempt, uh, you can watch the video if you click right over here, I guess I put it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm guessing where I'm going to put it. Um, so, anyways, you guys was, were wondering what build am I running with Gnaw? So, I'm going to show you. So basically, this is my gnaw build. Pretty simple enough. The, the, the only magic to it is getting the stuff in the right order. In order for gnaw not being so underpowered and underwhelmed uh, so early in the game like he usually is. Um, so, with the spit I take tentacle soup, which I don't take for a long long time until it's like really late game. Usually I don't even get the opportunity to get the tentacle soup. Uh, Spike Slime, which is of course the deal more damage with the Split Spit Goo. And the Split Spit. Also something that I leave for last. This is one of the important stuff though. Take it pretty damn early. Now Weedlings, I usually don't even bother with. Unless I'm with an Agilon. And I'll show you at the end of this video uh, how I actually incorporate the wheelings in Agilon and that's why I choose to take fertilizer over growth and bag of seeds not something that does a lot of damage but more of a crowd control I know it's confusing I'll show you at the end of this video okay now the most important build of them all is the the bite bite has rotten teeth which is pretty damn expensive costs 260 solar that's hella expensive and shadowing teeth which grants me attack speed and Diamond Teeth, uh, which is one of the best gnaw abilities. You have three upgrades with plus two damage, which means it's plus six damage to the bite. Putting gnaw on a 13 damage bite, plus a Rotten Teeth with damage over time increased to 20, while his base damage over time is 10, which means it's 30 damage dot DOT from one bite, plus a 13 damage over here, and the attack speed is 15%. People don't look at numbers enough because this is 15 freaking percent with three stages. It means, holy hell, 45 increase percent of attack speed on bite. I can't stress enough how much this is actually a, an insane ability. But as I said, on early game, it's pretty damn hard to get to a point where I actually get all the things. Now, uh, with the power, with the normal bar, I take the power pills light, the boots, which are extremely important, and the piggy bank. Yes, I run piggy bank, and this is really important. I'll show you why in a second. Let's start this. I'm playing against bots, so you guys will be able to see um, what I actually do on my knob build. Okay? Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm missing solar. What the hell? What the hell? Ah, oh, stupid drop. Okay, so I set the, the enemies to actually easy, so I can show you. So right off the bat, I take Piggy Bank, Open Poison, and I want to take Rotten Teeth. Now, I don't have enough for Rotten Teeth, but usually there'll, if the bots didn't take it, there's usually going to be a, a few solar over here. You take that, and you're done. You have enough for, for Rotten Teeth, and you want to get it as soon as possible. Doesn't matter which map you're in. If it's AI Station, you'll have like four solars over here. It should be enough. Uh, Agilon has four here. Should be enough if you're the one to nab it. On the other maps, you just go a few steps to the forwards and take the first stage of Rotten Teeth. Now, what this does, it gives you a uh, semi-burst. I, I wouldn't want to say burst on Gnaw, but it's a semi-burst DOT. Okay? So right now, what I want to do is make sure I spit directly on enemies followed by a bite. I'll show you on this droid. Like, BAM! And a bite, and you can see already I'm being like really effective as a as a droid pusher because I just killed them with one bite, one poison spit. And that's what you want to do to enemies, basically. That's how I land all these successful lays. Okay, so basically I just try to bite him at least once. That's three bites off, and you can see already that he's basically dead. And that's your time to say ole. That's the first skill. You can also really melt clunks good. So I time his shots as much as I can to let him release the shots while I try to bite him as much as possible. 
I got another cooldown on poison. And you see, I know he's on easy difficulty, but that can work uh, on enemy knots as well. He's dead. He's dead. Die. Bam. Oh shit, he bit me. Uh, it doesn't matter. He died. Ah, oh, turret blocked. <laughs> well, uh, when I play Olay, I don't try to actually kill them off bites. I try to do the Olays, which means um, I want to wait till the DOT killing him and typing as fast as I can Olay in the chat. That's the mini game. If you don't know what the mini game is all about, check out the o the awesome nuts mini game on my channel, and you'll be able to understand how to play the mini game with the DOTs. Basically, the, you need to call Ole on the chat before the DOT kills him, and that's how I'm used to playing now without even trying to actually make the kills. If you just take my build and just basically try to go like uh, direct damage with Na and you'll probably do it very well because he's a burst machine now I have already a lot of solar gonna gonna kill him first oh my god come on that's it he's dead that's an Ole okay so I'm back in the base and we'll take the next step next step is actually not waiting to have so much solar at the beginning because this is easy mode as soon as you get 260, you take the second step of Rotten Teeth, which means people would will not want to get near you with that 30 increase of DOT. And next thing I take is one step of Spike Slime to have more bursts, since what I do is jump on people, take one bite out of off them with one poison burst on them. And you'll see the big difference already. On the next step, enemy I encounter. Here we go. Bam! Ah, ah, ah. Stupid bolt. Stupid bolt. Okay, let's try this again. But you can see, one bite. That's it. That's it. All I need to do is just run away. They will run away either getting health in time or not. Ah, oh, bam! He jumped. That's it. Two bites, one split. Look at this. This is insane. Now all I need to do is just run away, get some health, and I kill them. That's an ole right there. It's pretty simple. I know, it looks easy because this is easy bots. It's not as easy as it seems right now against actually uh, people. You'll need to have uh, good teammates. There's, It's going to be really hard otherwise. And also, if you have a Vinny in the opposing team or a Lone Star, you can be really screwed because they are the hard counter for a Gnaw that tries to numb on somebody's face as close as he shouldn't usually be because he's a defender he's not like a brawler but I turned him into a brawler like really really early okay let's go back in the base I've got enough solar to buy the next upgrade which is diamond teeth only costs 180 you want one of those and then you want to wait for another spike slime I'm already really close oh somebody killed somebody so I can take the next step now poison does so much damage with one bite off uh, if I can find the clunk, was he the one who died? No, he didn't. He's supposed to be alive somewhere. There he is. Now you'll be able to see. Like, one split, one bite. Look at this. This is insane. If I just keep on numbing him, he'll die, like, a lot faster. But I don't. I don't wanna, because he was gonna maul me. I don't wanna. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, oh, you see? This is very, very, very bad for me to get as close as I am to... Oh! I managed to see him go down and spit on him. It's really, really, really bad to just stay in front of people, especially like someone like Leon. So what you want to do basically is always numb and run, numb and run, numb and run. One bite, two bites is good enough to keep an enemy off. Now before I get the last upgrade of Diamond Teeth, I take Boots. I can't stress enough how much Boots is like the savior of Gnaw, even when he bites, even when he escapes. This is so important to get as, as early as it can as, as you can. If you feel like you are very efficient in the early game, I suggest even taking it before the poison damage. Now, also something to mind. You have to try and move the mouse when you jump in the, in the bites. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with someone who look like, like Leon who jumps in you and you won't even bite at the right direction. It happens a lot, more often than not. I know it sounds like really obvious, but I see a lot of gnaws 
just bite at the wrong direction because they're not paying attention to the cursor. For the people, of course, who are playing with a mouse and keyboard. Bam! Oh, 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 this is something you want to get away with. But did you see that? One bite, one poison, and he died so fast. Ta granted, he tried to explode. But that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. He was standing in front of the turret. These kind of opportunities happen a lot. Where an enemy will just stand in front of your turret. And you can do so much burst damage. Look at this. Bam! One, two, three. I didn't even get to bite him. I, I bit the droids. But my teammate finished the job for me. And he now is going to break and die. Thank you. Oh, he didn't die. No, he'll die. Oh, no, you stupid blocker. <laughs> His bull saved him from my spit. Stupid. Oh, good. Nacho is going. Do I have any health down here? No. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh no, but somebody will, will have um, health regen and he can counter this whole no business. But no, that's not right. This, when I take the next instance of Diamond T, I'm actually um, more efficient than the health regen. You actually tick more damage than the actual health regen. I tested it. Oh good, even the third instance of Diamond T. Now, Bites are formidable. You don't want to get this. I'm only level 16 and I already uh, took like shitloads of bursts. Check this out. Damn. He cannot he can't use health regen to take to regen that. Now he can, but if I go and numb him again, he's dead. That fast. Na is now so freaking overpowered on this point if you get to this point that's that's the most important thing oh sh oh 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 my god that, that was close but look at look at clunk's health look at him he's dead there's just no way he can get away with that maybe if he bit something but i can just bit him again it's just watching your enemies uh die while you numb them like instantly it's insane Faster than the region. I love not. I love not. I know he needs. He still needs some work on. I know. It won't work on every occasion. But let me tell you, it's freaking insane. Now, the only thing you need to to be worry about is actually your teammates not being able to take turrets by this point. Since I have bots, as you can see, the turrets are up. So your teammates need to know. That you're gonna work on the enemies, not on the turrets, until you at least get the second... Look at this, 13, 13, 13, 13. This is like formidable damage, even to turrets by now. So you can start numbing on them, but some some knots, some enemy knots, are so hard to um, counter since they're standing behind the turret. And you won't be able to drop the turret as fast as possible. Okay, so... Uh, as I said, enemy knots need to not stop you from eating turrets, otherwise you're totally depending on your team uh, to help you. Okay, Flunk is dead. Good. Come on, Leon. You see, these, is, these are the jumps. Look at my mouse movement. I just want one, one bite off him. I'm not going crazy with the bites. So I hit him right at the right opportunity. Bots do it a lot. It's a, it's a, it's a good tip. Okay, I think I have enough now for full attack speed, and I'll show you how fast Na can actually numb, okay? Uh, next thing I'll take, usually here it doesn't matter, I'll take slow first and then split go. And health is only needed for if you are actually dying. If you see you're getting more burst damage uh, than actually getting closer to, bit them, to bite them, then you do need to insert one of these health upgrades, the power pills. Okay, so basically now, I am formidable. Look at this. See ya! You only got like a few shots, and now he's running away. Not in this case because he's a bot, but you get my drift. You have killed an enemy. Yes, I have. One bite, two bites, three bites. Goodbye, bots. Okay. Okay. Will I get him? Bam! Got him. He's dead. Oh, no, no! No, 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 no. No, no, you took the health. No, he's dead again. See me even in front of the turret. <laughs> I got him the old leg. Now look at the turret. Look at the bike. Look how fast this is. And the hitboxes. Always when you numb on the turret, stand here. Not as close to the turret uh, as you usually think. Because the hitboxes on Gnaw are pretty damn far away. 
Uh, otherwise, you'll get hit by the turret itself. And you don't want that. Oh, shit balls. Uh oh. Health. Thank you. Let's try this again. Clunk. Look at this. Look at his health. Look at how fast I'm draining him. Health region doesn't do anything in this po at this point. Oh, yes. Both dead. Both Olaid. One and a two. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a wipeout. I don't need even to bother going back for health right now since I'm playing with easy bots. But look at this. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. It's insane. It's insane. Once you put the slow in, if you have a teammate with slow or like Scoldier, that's why me and Naza always com combine the, the Scoldier and the Gnaw because his earthquake with the poison is so effective. He won't. Oh, he made it. Oh, I thought he wouldn't make it. Okay. Okay, time for health. Thank you. <laughs> but you can see how effective this is. This is insane. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Look at how am I numbing so fast and I'm hiding behind the bot. Granted, Leon just burst me, but both of them are practically dead. I won't let him. He won't make it. Come on. And it's over. Granted, this is a practice match. But you can practice this with the practice bots. Put them on easy difficulty so you get the hang of the upgrades and what you need to do. And hopefully you can make this work on a real game. And again, if you want to see this uh, work working in an actual game, click the video that is now annotated in the screen. And you'll be able to see how I made it work with me, Slow Wolf, and NASA. Go subscribe to their channel too. The link is also in the description. So hopefully you like this one, guys. And if not, the next one will definitely be a better one. I promise. Click the station on top right to watch the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. But until next time, as always, <laughs> it's Weasel Out.